I'm Laura from Koopa and I'm going to tell you today my top five Procreate tips. Okay, wrong brush. I was going to write it out, but oh well. Okay. So, first I'm going to tell you not to stick with your defaults. So, some of the defaults are really, really good. Like, the default blending I got was stucco. I love blending with this brush. I love it. It doesn't feel completely clean and perfectly blended, but I like it that way. And I like it with my art style because traditionally I do cell shading because I don't like to blend my markers very much. But on digital, I like to do rough-ish shading so it's not completely smooth but not completely, you know, cell shaded either. So, yeah. But for me, um, my defaults for the inking was Mercury, and that is not my favorite. So that's Mercury gonna make it a bit bigger so you can see it and then right now what I do to ink my lines is Inca which I'll make a bit bigger so I can show you Inca or syrup depending on my mood I always use syrup for writing lettering and color so that's my whole thing with that and then for sketching I use evolve so I will show you evolve that's what it looks like and then I use the eraser which I do syrup for because it'll give me a nice clean erase line I would erase it my guidelines, but set the opacity to less, so I can still see the guidelines, but they're not in my face and interfering with all the other lines. My original was, I'm going to say, peppermint, and does not work very well with my Apple Pencil. Very, very light. I like my sketches to start out very dark, and then I make it light but I don't like it to start out light so I have to make it dark so that is my first tip for you okay I'm gonna make it pink because I want to letter purple I want to letter purple okay don't stick to default. Okay. On to the next tip. So my next tip is one I didn't understand for the longest time. I'm just going to go on Inca and draw a circle. You know, my normal inking. And draw a circle. And then what I would do is I always make another layer for my color. So let's say I was going to color it red. So now I have like my red. I usually go with a less saturated red. And then I brought in my color fill because I used to do work on Medibang paint. And Medibang paint will fill in your lines no matter where the line art is, what layer it's on. So I was really surprised with this because I... It filled in the whole thing, even though it wasn't on that layer. 
So, I found out that you have to go in and then make a circle around it and then you can color drop it or you can just fill it in completely by hand which is what I did for the longest time but I was so glad that it wasn't like this I could just draw a circle and color drop it so I'm gonna write this time in yellow because I want to um, I'm going to make it on separate. Okay, so this is, wow, only the second tip. So my next one is not going to, we're not going to be able to do it on this one. So it would be, so behold my gallery. Um, so RCC is my random color challenges and then my drawings of Willow Thorn. I adopted her into my... Enorm en ugh. enormous army of OCs because evil characters are fun. So these are all my random color challenges. I do them a lot. Some of them are better than others. Like I love, I love random color challenge six. It's moi, moi. It's beautiful. I really love how it turned out. I just, I use it to get myself drawing when I haven't been drawing. I mean, these are some of the worst ones, but, and then that one, I did not flip. So you can see my style really clearly here. It changed so much from when I got it. Random color challenge, random color challenge one was the first thing I did. So let's just pretend I'm making a stack of, so I want to show you something for real. So I'm going to add these into a group because they're both group duplicate things. So now it's a stack, right? So I thought I would have to click. So plus paper or something. So imagine I was going to add this goodbye toe thing I put on my channel. Uh, imagine I wanted to put it in the group. I thought the only way was to select these and stack, which would delete the name of the stack. But I learned that's not what you do. So you would go on here, press plus, whatever you want, and then draw because that would not take you out of the stack. So I'm gonna take this back out because I don't wanna, you know what, I'll add it in, what the heck. There we go. So that is my next tip for you. I'm gonna letter it in pink. Okay. Okay. Press plus in in stack. Press plus in stack to add new artwork into stack without deleting the name. On to the fourth tip. Okay, let me think about this one. Hmm. 
Okay, so. I'm gonna find something that I needed help with. Hmm. This is hard. I I gave you some of my best tips already. Wow. Okay. So my thing would be, so I'm going to draw a circle and then you hold it to make the ellipse tool. Pro tip for you. And then let's use the other tip and color drop it. Ooh. Okay. So let's say I wanted it to move it. Okay. So we draw my thing around it. You don't, you can't move it from here you have to go on the transform and then you can move it around but if you ooh, i have it on distort i'll make it look like a real circle since i can and will there pretty good so let's go on uniform so you can move it around when it's nice and big okay but when you shrink it down small enough you can't really move it so what I do is, so imagine it was really small, okay? And I wanted to move it up to here. So I would make it really big and then really small. Really big, really small, big, small, big, small. There we go. My number one tip. Well, not my number one. We're not quite there yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure we actually already passed it, but okay. So, it's going to be, okay. When transforming Okay, what was I gonna When transforming and too small to move go on un uniform and Go small, big, small, big, until in the desired location. I'm just gonna sit for a second in case I need to copy that down because it was a bit of a mouthful, but yeah. And then you would do copy paste in case you were wondering, you would draw your line and then to copy it, you would click copy and paste and then you can move it. And then if you wanna put that on your old layer, you can do merge down. Okay. So, this one is going to require two layers. Ooh. So, this one I'm going to set to, I think it's going to take three. So, these are the ones I use for my thing. So, on one I use, where is multiply? There we go. Multiply. And then this one would be add. So I'm going to draw just a bright green circle, okay? Use that ellipsy tool again. And then color drop. Nice shape. So now we have that color selected. If we were on like a different color, like we had picked up something else, 
we would color drop that color and then run multiply and then do clipping mask and clipping mask and all of your things. So, ooh, wait, what? We're on multiply. No, we're on multiply. So multiply will automatically create like a shadow for you. But if you don't want that and you think it's too light, you can go like a little bit darker on your selection and then get a darker shadow or you can like hue shift a little like like this. So now it feels like a really green shadow and then you can go in and blend it if you want to. Like that. And then I think this was add. So I'm going to go on this. So no. Was it divide? Or was it subtract? We'll check both. So divide, no. Was, I think it was subtract. Ooh. No. Not that. Okay. No, it was one of these. Lighten? Mm. There. You have to go to a little bit brighter of a color on Lighten. I'm sorry. It's been such a long time since I've done this. I seemed to have forgotten. I guess it's t this tip video is as much for my own future reference as it is to help you guys. <laughs> I think I'm going to make it a bit bigger. It's a little blending. And I'll give you one free tip on this. I'll give you one extra tip. So I'm going to put my wording, my lettering on this one. And I want to make it orange because I feel so inclined. Okay, so we're going to write. Okay. Okay, boop. And then you can do merge down. Ooh, no, back. Um, merge down, and then we can do merge down. Perfect, 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 perfect. So now I'm going to write, use multiply for shadow select slightly different colors Select slightly, no, I meant darker. I meant slightly darker. Ugh. I'm shocked by my own ignorance sometimes. Okay. Darker. And then. Lighten. For highlights, lighten for highlights, slightly brighter color. Okay. One more tip and then I'm done. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll give you a bonus. What was the bonus again? Huh. One second, I need to think.
Okay, I'm going to give you a tip that took me forever to figure out. So see all this stuff? So when you go on the... So what you want to do for this is go on the toolbar. So there's add canvas. Share, which is how you can, you know, get this stuff. And then... There's the video. Um, time lapse replay, time lapse recording, export time lapse. You can do all that to help if you need so. And then prefs and help. So this one you wanna go on prefs. So light interface, which will just turn it to white. I honestly prefer the dark one. Right hand interface. Prefer the left hand one, even though I'm right handed. Um, dynamic brush scaling, project canvas. Okay, I'm sorry. Brush cursor, advanced cursor settings. Pressure and smoothing, gesture controls. And then the most important thing for me is gesture controls. So all this, erase, assisted drawing, eyedropper, quick shape, quick menu, full screen, clear layer, copy and paste, layer select, hover, general, all of this stuff. Oh, sorry is so important so i'm going to tell you how to do that so you want to start by going on i'm gonna make it blue because i feel so inclined so you want to start by going on the little wrench thingy my best drawing of it i guess i'll thicken this line a bit there best drawing you'll get and then go on prefs. I'll make that look more like an F so you can distinguish it from my T's. I cannot stress how important this is but it made me able to do this because one, it's a touch, so my finger will always make it so I can pick a color. And I found that so important because with doing the random color challenges, you need to be able to pick up colors, so. Yep. Thank you for watching. Um, this video um please like subscribe comment share for more videos um uh, and bye